Hi, my name's Graham Richardson, um, live in Horsforth, I'm 38 and got diagnosed with uh, uncontrolled epilepsy at the age of uh, 12. And um, the seizures range from absence through to grand mal. Uh, in, the last, in the last year or so, I've, uh, I think I've been into hospital uh, on about three to four occasions. Um, the ambulance came to uh, see where I was, for example, I might have been uh, in the street outside the house. Um, first responders being, the ambulance has come, uh, been checked over, taken in, the am taken in the ambulance down to the St James's Hospital in Leeds. One time I was in hospital and went into a seizure. I could feel myself going into a seizure, grabbed hold of the uh, trolley. I wasn't able to alert the, the staff. They came to uh, see what had, had happened. I was aware of this happening, but yet again, I just could not communicate due to the seizure. And finally, with accident and emergency at the moment, uh, I think uh, they do treat you very well. And there are odd, the odd occasions where when accident emergency is very busy, you've just got to wait and bide your time. I get the impression that sometimes doctors in hospitals just do not understand about epilepsy. You really need to have a neurologist sometimes come and uh, check you out. If I've gone in with uh, problems with uh, the bowels or bladder and the temperature is very high, I do need to be admitted. Um, Sometimes I may have just gone down in the street for 30 seconds and it may just be to observe you for four hours to make sure you're not uh, getting any more seizures at all. Well, usually after four, usually after four hours, um, I'm discharged. And after a seizure, um, I can tend to uh, sleep, which they let you do. I was taken in to St James's Hospital by ambulance about 11 o'clock um, at night and uh, what had happened is they uh, took me in, uh, put me on the clinical decisions unit ward. I didn't have any uh, money on my mobile phone with me at the time and uh, they assessed me and after four hours they uh, discharged me in the early hours of the morning for half past four with no, me with no means to get home at all um, no way of contacting people I couldn't remember a, tele a telephone number at all and uh, I had to find my own way home. They said, well, get the taxi. Can't get a taxi because they don't have the uh, money to get a taxi. So it was either walk home or just wait until, uh, until the bus services start. The service has improved at St James's Hospital. Um, than at the LGI. Most people would want to know, well, why are you taking me to St James's? Why can't I go to Lee's General Infirmary? And I would say that they want to get everybody in just one place uh, to see them and leave Lee's General Infirmary. I would say for sort of minor or more important uh, Things like things to do with the heart cardiology department, the doctors that uh, talk to you for about two minutes, um, they just have no interest at all. The doctors that uh, chat for you longer, I would say, have more interest into uh, epilepsy and, uh, you know, want to find out more. We've... Uh, 
the NHS uh, St James's Hospital being a teaching hospital. I'm quite happy for uh, nurses that are training to uh, do the work. Um, I was once admitted and they left a nurse to uh, take uh, blood off me. I don't know whether it was because my uh, veins were uh, not very good at the time, but it took them five attempts there, five attempts there, five attempts there, five attempts there, then they finally got the blood. To uh, improve the services, um, at least the doctors could have, uh, and nurses could have a better understanding in their uh, training program. For example, uh, they can learn more generally about epilepsy, basically about the seizures, uh, be trained to at least recognize them. And uh, if, you have a, if you're having a seizure, at least basically know what to do. I've been in beds before that uh, just haven't had the uh, bedsides where you can pull them up. And I think that has been dangerous. Patients um, with epilepsy should all be, always be kept on a bed or trolley with the sides fully up. I'd want to see a neurologist at least once or twice a year. But uh, the problem I fi I'm finding is uh, they'll say, well, we'll see you every six months. Um, but it can be eight months before you see the neurologist. I want them to be able to stick to a timetable. I go see the GP now once a month and, I, and I'm fine with that. But uh, basically, you're in for five minutes and then you're out. It's basically more time to see the GP to talk through with uh, what's happened. Because your GP is the first point of contact. I've had um, instances where I've not felt well overnight and I've used the what used to be the old uh, 0845 number which is now the treble one service and frightened to use the treble one service now because of uh, the basically press reports saying it's a bad service they need to get that sorted out before I would uh, risk using it I think my first point of call unfortunately would be the ambulance. I did go through a period I did go through a period for about six months where I can have no seizures at all. But once you get a infection, that's when it uh, does throw your body and gives you more seizures. I've been to the GP once and uh, the information's not being put on the computer and uh, they share the appointments by uh, post between uh, accident and emergency and uh, your GP when you've had a visit. It would be easier just to send it by email, wouldn't it? Save on postage. The thing is, uh, the epilepsy is well controlled. So I'm not... Uh, into accident and emergency uh, like most people may be that uh, have uh, uncontrolled epilepsy and the drugs are not working for them. The main thing with me is uh, I'm having to uh, see the neurologist and because the neurologist is always busy um, I'm having to wait longer to see a neurologist I just want that service to improve, better understanding between neurologist, GP.